So we're just sitting down, taking a tiny little break. The, uh, you can see the attic we were at. Right there, where the trestle on that is. And uh, we hiked our way up this waste rock pile. Gives you a good overview of the, the mine. But uh, unfortunately, on top of the waste rock pile, there's uh, nothing. Hiked up the rocks here, nothing. So, uh, beautiful evening, almost six o'clock. Sun behind the clouds. Still foggy, uh, still hazy from the forest fires. But you can uh, get a good overview of the mine site from here. The very first at it we were at was just down below, I believe in, uh, looks to me like it was right in there. It's right in there somewhere, right there I think. And the second one was right there. And we're still trying to find the third one. It's up here somewhere. So we're gonna go uh, keep searching. Okay, we hiked back from, there's that way strong pile over there. We hiked over here and we think the adit may be down in this little gully here. You can see kind of signs of it. Some timbers and a, an old hose and stuff. So we'll go check it out. Okay, so where we were up there, we thought that uh, that was the adit, but it is not. It, or it was and it isn't anymore because there are some support timbers in that. But uh, luckily, just to the left of all this hose and stuff like that, we do have an adit. So I guess this would be the top level because we hiked up to all those waste rock piles up there and there was nothing up there. Nothing we could get in anyway. So we're calling this the top adit at the little tin mine, so let's go in and check it out. Okay, so this is just inside the attic. Uh, they had cement walled it shut at some point. Um, you can see the pipe for drainage. And uh, this is a solid concrete wall that they had in here at some time. Not sure why they would have cemented it shut. Um, safety maybe, I'm not too sure, but uh, turn it around. My camera focus. This is the, uh, I guess we'll call this the upper level. Let's see where it goes. Uh, the guys were here before me uh, a few years ago and they said they do think they remember encountering a spot that they couldn't pass, but they don't remember what it is. So we're gonna go see what we can find here. There's a really narrow, uh, really narrow drift, or really narrow at it uh, with a really, supported roof here. You can see the timber is starting to bow. And uh, this retaining wall is starting to give way, so I'm going to get through this very carefully. There's a rat in there somewhere, Chris. Okay, in where? So the right of the door, it's his nest. Oh, okay. As well as just, well, he... Is there a inside the doorway? He went up and then he went there. So he should be up above the door. Oh, I see him. There he is. Little guy. Another furry mine friend. So we're going to make our way past his house. Which is right there. And uh, let him be. Another really uh, lapsy section here. The more shoot coming up on the left. And this is really a uh, They really stoked up in there. So we'll keep making our way ahead and check out that ore chute. Well, I mean, the good thing is if, if that was to fall into there, yeah, right. walk it, that would be good. You could, yeah. Okay, so we think we found the passable, unpassable spot. I'm going to make my way slowly out. And 
kind of show you what it is. Looks like it's the top of a stove. Or an ore house, it's hard to say. But it's uh, used to be. Yeah. It's about 30 feet deep. And uh, there's nothing here to get us across, and it does look really collapsed on the other side. You can see this whole roof is just false. And uh, it's really not a very safe spot. So we won't get across that for sure. So we're going to make our way back out and call this the end of the upper at it at the little tin mine. So I'm on my way back out and I just wanted to show you what we're talking about. So there's the uh, roof. And there's what's on the roof. This entire cavity is sitting on top of these timbers. So we are getting out of here. And very quietly and slowly. Another look at this. It looks like they would have had vent ventilation going through there at one time with some fans or something. Let's see if our little rat's friend is still there. No, not at the moment. And uh, here's looking back out. You can see everything is just collapsing in on this. This is probably what happened to those other openings too. They probably used to be there, but time look look at the look at the bend in that <sighs> won't be long before that comes in I have no interest in being here when that happens so I. this whole part right here is fairly stable but uh, that part back there is definitely not so that's it from the upper at it. And I guess that wraps things up at the little tin mine. So I'll see you at the next one. Okay, so there's one final shot at looking uh, from above at the uh, trestle that came out of the first at it. And uh, yeah, we were just back up on the hill up there. It's starting to get uh, dusk here. It's around 6.30 or seven o'clock now. So we're gonna, we got at least an hour drive back, so we're gonna start to make our way home. So yeah, this is it from the little tin mine. See you next time. Well, we were just making our way out here. You could see, uh, I'm not sure what was here before. Part of the mill maybe, but you can see all of the foundations, the cement pillars sticking out of the ground. Not sure what was on there. Could be another house or a cabin or cookhouse or something and then Thought I'd just quickly look at this cabin, see what uh, see what it looks like. I don't know how far in I'm going to go because it's standing on, it's all collapsing in itself and inside, but we'll uh, poke our head in and see what's inside. Very old fridge with some old drawers and stuff. Anybody home? No. Yeah, would have been the living quarters because there's the bed frames. Or the stove would have once been. Old oil can or something. Yeah, really nice pink interior, pink paint. Really, really nice choice of decor okay well there's uh, some old gloves and stuff on the ground old can of probably WD-40 or something or oil can't tell but uh, yeah looking out here this is the that's the hill that all the audits were on hmm well, I guess that's it. We're going to head back for dinner. See ya.